Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and I'm here with Nick Jacobson from Oakley. Nick, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? <laughs> Good. Uh, Nick has been here uh, today walking through the 2018 Oakley goggle and helmet line. We're going to do a little comparison video of some really great goggles you guys have. Uh, the Flight Deck and the Airbrake XL. The Flight Deck actually comes in two different sizes, uh, just the regular Flight Deck and the Flight Deck XM. Correct. And then uh, the Airbrake XL just comes in the XL. Just the XL version now. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully by the end of the video, we're going to kind of walk you through some comparisons, uh, similarities and differences, and you'll be able to figure out which goggle is going to work best for your riding style. Mm -hmm. uh, Nick, what's uh, what's up with the goggles? So both of them are going to come with prism lenses, and that's going to be uniform across the line right now on our premium goggles. And what prism lenses will do is allow you to see more than what you've been seeing. Yeah. Um, what we did is we went through and made sure that we had a lens that would swing wider ranges from light okay. to dark um, by boosting the good light and backing down the bad light. So making sure that in each situation you're getting the right light, not sure. more light. Yeah. Um, and that, so this is just basically, it comes with, do both these goggles, the, the flight deck and the airbrake come with one lens or two lenses? So the airbrake XL will come with two lenses and the flight deck will come with one lens. Okay, and the, the uh, Airbrake, does that come, are they both prism lenses? They're both prism lenses. Yep. Well, that's pretty nice. Yep. Now, there's a lot of things that are similar. So they have like three layers of face foam, there's there's yep. fleece along the backside, nice thick straps, which I which I think is really cool. I think yep. the Flight Deck XL has a little bit thicker of a strap, doesn't yep. it? So, I mean, it kind of varies. So if you have the XM right here, it yep. obviously has a different sizing, yep. but then you look at the regular Flight Deck and you're looking about the same. About the same. Yep. And then there's a little back in the silicone. What does that silicone do? The silicone uh, allows you to pull a goggle strap over your hat or your helmet, and it allows the strap to stay placed, so you're not moving up and down. It's not gradually sliding throughout the day and really places optics where they need to be. Got it. So the, a lot of similarities they have are, are the lenses, the face foam, and of course the straps of the silicone. Mm -hmm. Now, the how the release of the uh, lenses happen is, is much different. The Flight Deck has what's called the bridge lock, and the, the Airbrake XL has what's called the switch lock. Can you kind of walk us through how to yeah. change the lenses out? So we'll start with the with the with the Flight Deck XM, which is the same as the Flight Deck XL, the regular Flight Deck. Um, what, the, what they'll use is it's called the ridge lock. So what it is, it's a full 360 seal. So we've got a frameless design. So you don't have the frame getting in the way of your, of your periphery, side to side or up to top to bottom. Yep. Um, but we'll do what's called a ridge lock design. So the way the lens is retained is it's actually a full 360 seal all the way around the whole frame itself. Wow. So this allows the frame to, to step in. It doesn't leave you any gaps to allow you know any debris, wind, or, or light to get through to your eyes. Sure, so. and you were kind of mentioned that before, like uh, you know, some frameless style designs or goggles that don't have frames along the front side of the lens have like little pinpoints or pivot points. Whereas these prism lenses with the bridge lock in the flight deck have a full perimeter kind of locking system, full 360 so you don't yeah. get any extra odd air kind of coming yeah, in. Yeah, odd air, wind, debris, uh, moisture, things like that. We want to make sure the seal is the whole way around, so we're keeping the elements out and allowing you to perform. Awesome. Now with uh, with the switch lock, what's the story with uh, the Airbrake XL? So the Airbrake XL takes it to the next level. So this this is really the the tool of all tools, right? So this makes sure that you've got the exact right piece of equipment for what you're doing. So when you go out and you golf and you look at in your bag, you've got everything from a utility wedge to a sand wedge to a pitching wedge. I yep. mean, it gets really technical at that point, but that yep. that's to make sure that you've got the right piece to, to cover that gap, right? Yeah. So what we did with the with the Airbrake XL, we wanted to make sure that you again have the right lens for that situation. So with this, we wanted to take away the, the barrier. So a lot of people don't like changing lenses. It's just, no. it, it's a hurdle for a lot of people because <laughs> you know, it's it's the whole, you know, you're pulling something apart, you're messing with the, the, the way in the goggle Getting itself. fingerprints right. all over stuff, yeah. So the cool thing with this is we, we've done what's called the switch lock technology. So you basically have a lever right there. You pull the lever up, pop the lens off. That's it. So it really takes away that hurdle of, of having to interchange lenses. So you can always make sure you have the right lens for the condition. Even though they're both prism lenses, you've got a prism lens that'll swing to a little bit darker situation. Okay. The prism lens that'll swing to a little bit brighter situation. Oh my gosh! And how easy? Let's see. How easy it is, is it to put this thing back in? Yeah. And I did it once. I did it once in the in the Airbrake XL a sp yep. specific video. Let's see if Guff can can figure this out. Haha. <laughs> And then that's it. Yeah, so the beauty of that is it's something you could do on a lip with mittens on. So yeah. th this one you're gonna have to take mittens off and you're gonna probably wanna warm up the frame a little bit to make sure yeah. that you can walk it around and get your full seal. Sure. That's something where you're gonna be able to do right on the lift as you're, you know, as the sun comes in, you've got a couple minute 
chair left, right, if you're lucky to live out west, and yeah, you're yeah. ready to go as soon as you, <laughs> as you hit the ground running. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to change the lens. Maybe I will be on, on the central lift at Highland. Right. You yep. know, maybe. Yeah, it's pretty fast. <laughs> lift line's probably long enough. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, make sure to check out the flight deck and the airbrake XL at thehouse.com. As you see, there's a little bit different lens uh, application technology. The ridge lock with uh, the flight deck XM and regular flight deck. And then, of course, uh, the ridge lock, or excuse me, the switch lock with the air brake XL. Correct. Awesome, man. Nick, thank you for walking us through this yeah. stuff. Cool. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a comment or a question below. If you haven't done so already, uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Peace.